Hey, boys and girls, it is Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. Uh, very excited to be with you again today uh, to do some more addition. Um, we'll be doing some subtraction next time. That'll be very exciting as well. Um, okay, so what are we doing? Addition? Yes. In last time, we were using expanded form, right, to do that. Today, we're going to like shake it up and we're going to get into using... Um, what I call base 10 drawings, sometimes place value drawings. You've probably done it before. It'll be a good review, but we're also going to get into some good regrouping. If you're still not sure what that means, we're going to find out, okay? But to begin, let's do some mental math, okay? So let's, um, let's get started. Let's get this party started. So what if I had a problem like this? This will be a little bit more challenging than the ones we were doing the other day, but let's see what we can come up with. What if I had 684 plus 133? Do you have any strategies, any ways that you might be able to solve that um, in your head without using paper and pencil? I want to reiterate, there's nothing wrong with using paper and pencil, and there's nothing better about using mental math, um, but there are times when you just don't have any tools. You don't have a paper, pencil, calculator, or anything. And, um, and it, honestly, it's just faster. So um, anyways, take a look. I'll give you a few, I'll give you a little bit of time to think about it, and then we'll talk about it. All right, go ahead. Remember, we're not using paper and pencil. Just think in your head. How would you solve this in your head? Could you do it? How might you do it? All right, any thoughts so far? I know that awkward video silence. So let's take a look, okay? So we have, um, so one way you might do it, right? This is, I'm only showing you what I might think in my head, right? This is not the way I actually did it. Um, but one way that I was thinking about it is that I have 600, I know this is 600, and I know that's 100. So that gives me 700. Okay, so that's easy, 700. Um, I've also got an 80 here, and I've got a 30 here. Uh, so that's a little bit more challenging, right? 80 plus 30, like what is that? Like if I'm not sure, I could bring this 8 down as 80. And then this 30, I could bring it down as a 20 and a 10. The reason I broke it up like that is because I know that 80 and 20 is 100. Okay, so that's one way I could do it. And then I still have this um, 3 and a 4, and 3 and 4 makes 7. So I've got 780, right, plus 20 more gives me 800, 810, 817. So that's one way you could think about it, all right? If you knew that 80 plus 30 was 110, then you just write down 110, get rid of that. You've got 810 plus seven more, 817, okay? Um, the other way we thought about it was using um, a number line, right? So if I, this is 684, um, <clears throat> I could jump. Uh, so I've got 684 plus 133. I could jump 100, and that's going to get me to 784. So I did the I did the um, hundreds place. Um, and then I might here. So watch. I might do it a little bit differently this time. I might hop three, right? Get rid of the ones place. So just a little hop. And that would get me to 787. Okay, but I still have 30 to go. So if I'm not sure how to do that, I might just skip by tens, right? So 787 plus 10 gives me 797 plus another 10 gets me to 807. That's, that's kind of a hard one. And then another 10 gets me to 817, which is where we got up here. Okay, so that one's a little bit longer, but in my head, I could just be hopping, right? 684 plus 100 is 784, 
plus 3 is 787. 797, 807, 817, that gets rid of the 30. Okay, and that, that adds the 30. So there's different ways that you can think about this. Somebody could have, you might have thought of it in a very different way. Okay? All right, let's get um, to the lesson. All right, so boys and girls, I need you, that means you, yes, and you, and you, and you, all of you, to get this um, graphic organizer out. Okay, your place value chart looks like this. And I'm gonna put it in your white, your sorry, your dry erase sleeve. Um, and you just need your marker and an eraser, and we're good to go. Okay, so I'll pause the video, I'll pause, and I'll wait for you to get back. Okay, so um, you should be ready to go. I'm just gonna model something for you. You can watch, and then we'll do one together. So, what if I have, I don't know, 400, um, 40. 6 plus 322, okay? So this time we're going to actually draw what I call base 10 um, blocks or place value pieces, whatever you want to call them. They look like this, right? I know you've worked with them a lot. There's ones, tens, and hundreds. Okay, so we have 446. So we have 400. Now notice I just draw squares real quick. Okay, not grids, it doesn't take me like five hours to draw out 400, okay? So 440, one, two, three, four. Each one of these represents a 10, right? A 10 and six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so, all right, so I put on um, what, what these actually represent, right? So you've worked with these before. These represent, this is your hundreds. Okay, so this if I had four of these, it would be 400. These are what the tens are, okay, because there's you could fit 10 of these in, right? These are your ones, right? 10 of these make a 10, and 10 of these tens make 100, okay? All right, so I'm not going to be using the actual pieces right now. I'm going to be drawing them out, okay, because it, it's a lot um, faster and easier um, to do, okay? But... Um, when you're in class, if you still need to work with the place value pieces, that's fantastic, okay? All right, so we're going to add 300, 322. Okay, now notice that was quick, right? I don't, it's not art, boys and girls. You just dot, dot, line, line, square, 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 okay? You don't have to be perfect about it. Now, if we add these up, we have, and again, so actually, boys and girls, this time, I would like you to start with the ones place, okay? It'll make your parents happy too, trust me, okay? So we're gonna start with the ones place and you'll see why I'm gonna ask you to do that very soon, okay? So we have six ones and two ones, that gives me eight ones. Here I have one, two, three, four, that's six tens or 60. And here I have seven hundreds or 700. And there's my answer, 768, okay? All right, so I'm going to give you a problem to work on, and I would like you to try it, just like I did. All right, so here's your problem, 561 plus 227, right? Draw out your base 10 drawings, okay, and see what you get. When you are done, come back and we'll check it out, okay? But you need to stop the video now, yes you, and try it out. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. All right, boys and girls, how'd you do, how'd you do, how'd you do? Uh, do you do? Okay, so uh, 561 plus 227. All right, so again, we're going to start with the ones place. Did you do that? All right, did you get that there were eight ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and did you get that there were eight tens, which also stands for 80? All right, and over here, did you get that there were seven hundreds? So did you end up with 788? All right, good job if you did. If you did not, but you did your best, and you're looking at it now to figure out your mistake and learn from it, excellent job. Your brain's growing tremendously, and I'm very proud of you. Um, if, on the other hand, you did not try the problem, okay, your brain's just not growing. It just isn't, because you're just kind of watching. It might be growing a little bit, but not as much as if you're not doing the work, okay? It's just not going to happen. Um, okay, so let's look at a different kind of problem where there's regrouping. What does regrouping mean? Let's find out. All right, so boys and girls, if I draw this out, I have 200, 
37, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, and 348, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I like to draw my ones kind of like 10 frames. Just helps me keep track of how many I have. It's easy to kind of like lose track of the ones. So anyways, um, so again, we're going to start with our ones place. Now you'll notice there are a lot of ones, like a lot of ones. So when we are doing it this way, I want you to regroup if you can. That means if you can take 10 of these ones, okay, and regroup them into one ten, I want you to do it. All right. So um, you can see that we can definitely do that. We have eight here and we have seven here. That's uh, what was that, 15 ones. So we should be able to regroup 10 of them and still have like five left over, right? So I'm actually going to grab these eight. I'm going to circle these eight and these two. That makes 10. And draw an arrow over here and add another 10. Okay, so that's how I want you to do it when you do these. So now when I go to add up, I see I have five ones left over. I have the three, one, three tens plus four tens is um, seven tens plus the extra 10 that we just regrouped. So that's eight tens or 80. And over here we have five hundreds. So we have 585. Okay, and there's our answer. Okay, I'm going to give you one to try and then I'll show you what you are doing for independent practice. All right, so boys and girls, I want you to try this problem 235 plus 127. Um, please stop the video right now. All right, just pause it. Okay, try it out yourself. See how you do. If you want to go back and look at, rewind the video a little bit and look at how I did it, you can just look at that. Okay, and um, when you're done, do your best. Uh, come back and we'll look at it together. All right, boys and girls. So you can see uh, this is how you should have drawn it out. Okay, and hopefully you saw that there were more than 10 ones. So I'm going to take 10 of these ones. There's uh, seven here. And I'm going to grab three of these. And I'm going to draw an arrow over here to add another one, add another 10. I'm sorry. So those 10 ones become 110. That's my regrouping. All right, but I still have these two ones right there. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. That's 60. And I have three hundreds. So I have 362. Okay, if you did not get that, take a look and see where your mistake might have been and you can make the correction. All right, I want to do one more problem with you. Um, so here we go. All right, so I'm going to model one more problem before you get to your independent practice. Okay, so here we have 596 plus 140. Okay, so we have a lot going on here because we have more than 10 ones. So I'm going to take, um, I'm actually going to draw this up here, and I'm going to take the 5 from here and the 5 from here and make that into another 10. Okay, so I have one, one, one left, left over. Okay, you can see that. Um, now up here I have a lot of 10s. Okay, I have nine that I started with plus the six plus the extra one from the ones place. That gives me, let's see, 10, that gives me uh, 14 ones. Well, I'm sorry, 14 tens, 14 tens. So I'm gonna take 10 of them, in fact, there's 10 right here, and regroup these into another 100, okay? So now I have four tens left over, so that's 40. And over here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the extra one gives me 700. So my answer is 741, okay? All right, your independent practice, I'll show you real quick, uh, looks like this. And boys and girls, if that last problem was challenging for you, you can look back at that video again. Um, I think there's only one problem that looks like this, and that's the last one, number six, okay? So just do your best, and if you have questions, you can always ask your teacher. Um, when you talk to talk to um, talk to her, but there's one two. I give you lots of space. Okay, there's one two, three four. Uh, there's only six problems. I just spaced it out over three pages. Okay, and do it exactly what, like we've been doing. All right, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.